Hello, everybody. This is uh, Jack. Welcome back to Enlightened Podcast, Episode 4. I'm here with Hopins. Hi. And Boba. Hello. And to start off, we're going to talk about uh, The Flash. So, guys, give me your thoughts. Of course, like, the Super Bowl trailer um, just came out. I didn't watch the Super Bowl, but I did watch all the trailers. Um, yeah, same. I mean, to be honest, it, what, like, I, I, I'm not, a bit, like, big on sports. I just, like, went to YouTube, like, just searched up all the Super yeah. Bowl trailers. Yeah, same. I love Class of Clans. Class of Clans, <laughs> yes, of course. Average Class of uh, Clans cameo. So... Uh, <laughs> I was very worried about this movie. Yeah, to like, be honest, yeah, yeah. like, like that, that's actually a good thing that you said that because I was actually thinking about that. Is that uh, I th- I think it was Hopens I was talking to you in DMs. And I'm like, what yeah. if the Flash is actually good? Like this was way before. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, You're what right. if the Flash actually ends out like being good? I, I really we mentioned it in, in, in the first podcast. Not yet. First well, trailer. Course, yeah, there was still. a lot of negative publicity. I, I yeah. just and like of course rewrites, reshoots, and everything. But it, yes, like it turned out for the better. And most. Parts, yeah. And yeah. Most I, parts, I, I I like it. Not every. There's a lot of stuff that I have problems with. But it, the trailer overall seems like pretty. It pretty seems like very high quality. Like, yeah, the, the CGI. More, more CGI. CGI was really crazy. I mean, of course, oh, yeah. since it got delayed, they had a lot of time to like bake it in the CGI. Oven. Mm-hmm. Uh, I better, like the shot know? where the two berries master like boots. Yeah, that, like, that, that was very cool. The yeah, cinematography in the film looks very promising. However, like, but yeah. I, 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 want, I want to turn though. I have one concern though. You'll let into you that's gonna happen. So you know how like this movie climax seems to take place in like a desert? That like it put to like less day. Wait, climax seems to take place in a desert? So the final yeah. fight he's talking about, like the, the whole like yeah. 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 I thought it was like in a snow. It looks like in the middle of a desert. No, it's a desert. Yeah. Are you sure? It's Wait, it's what, not, yeah. What are you talking about? The one like, when like Zod comes in and like Yeah, and the one where no, like the no, master I don't think that's the case. Because remember, there's gonna be another villain. All right, I I think they're just they just don't want to spoil stuff. Villain, obviously, yeah. Dark Flash is gonna be Dark the villain. Flash. I don't think that's actually gonna be the final fight. That's not the final fight. But this is gonna be uh, yeah, like introducing Zod. And yeah, stuff. exactly. Unless they have everything in the end. But yeah, I don't think Zod will be like the main villain. I think it's mostly just gonna be like a uh, Dark Flash or something. I don't think that's the climax. Of course, I don't think they would want to like show too much. Just in like like the first official trailer, I guess after like what a year or two. So yeah. it seems yeah. like there's gonna be a lot more to it. Like one of the things like like people always have like gripes about like new news or like anything new, but but you know we don't really know what's gonna happen. True. So I think I think they're saving that like the dark flash. The juicy stuff. stuff. Or, like yeah, the juicy stuff. Yeah. Later. Or like. I would, yeah. If I w- were, like, the one, like, making the trailer, I would just cut it out as well. I mean, I wouldn't... Yeah, really you know, it. also, like, that's more another Marvel thing. thing... Yeah, because Marvel, like, just recently, they've been showing so much in the trailers. Yeah. Like, it's not even, like, funny anymore. That's like, 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 Guardians. Like, Guardians, Guardians yeah. especially. And I'm really pissed yeah. about uh, uh, like, Jack, that. You mentioned that, yeah, no, no, yeah, Jack, you mentioned that... Yeah, Jack, you mentioned that the lightning changed, right? I was going to ask the same question yeah, when we were I'm watching the video. I yeah, so like I I, I I asked on Twitter, right? And yeah. a guy told me it's spoilers. Oh yeah. It's spoilers. Interesting. Oh so, yeah. I, I yeah. So it, it's, theory, it's, it's a big part. It's a big part. Is, yeah. Is it's like he's like you know like he's like leveling up in a way like he like after the I... league his, his like lightning like he just got more powerful or something like that. I think that's probably. I I disagree. Story. I disagree. Cause in the comics, I can't right? Disagree. Yeah. Well, in the comics, you go from yellow to blue lightning. Blue lightning is the fastest lightning in the comics, so well, it doesn't make sense for him to downgrade. Well, I don't think it's just gonna be like the comics. Uh, true, but I think it's more like, like an imbalance in the speed force to try to see time traveled, and there needs to be a blue lightning flash, the OG Barry, and if it's a new Barry, it has to be. New uh, color because that's not the actual Perry of that. I'm lying. Right. Yeah. Speaking Back of colors. Yep. Oh, colors. Oh. The blue so, and gray suit. No, whoa. Ooh. Okay. Are we talking about we Flash and Batman? Flash and Sexy. Batman? Sexy. It's the Flash trailer. Like, okay, whatever. 
<laughs> okay. Well, yeah. We so got two I was going to talk about Bat- new Batman suits. But we yeah. Yeah. About- so I uh, noticed but- um, the Flash's suit, Ezra's suit, I guess, only seems to light up when he's like running. Yeah. Like using his super speed, which I do like. Like I'm, I'm looking at the trailer right now, and I'm, I have frozen on a certain well, shot. Yeah, it's like some where type of like harness. It looks something. pretty like a decent suit. Like on its own, like without like the over designing like yellow lines, it looks pretty decent. I'm not even gonna lie. I I disagree. Like, with solid that. red and like. So, so I very I don't like the suit. Well. I don't like the suit because like the the huge helmet, the, the ball slash really texture, good. the ball slash texture on the shoulders, <laughs> the disc and, and the disconnected. The, the, if the, the belt, it was just the, the plain design and had like bumps and the texturing and stuff, yeah. that too. But if it was just like the metal, like I hate the boots. The boots are awful. Oh like, yeah, I'm very against that. But it I think like the arms, the belt as well. Body. Yeah, the belt. I, I like that. Yeah. The, 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 the thing about the belt is that it, it, I think it's dumb that it's on like the back instead of the front. If they're gonna do a belt, I think at least put it in the front. Because mm. why would you even have a belt like just like half? It's not even a belt. It's just like half a belt on the back of the suit. It's just it's just a backwards yeah. belt. Back. Yeah, and it doesn't really look like much of a belt either. Also, Minus about all how the thick the suit is. Yeah. True. Like, like, like. I mean, I don't know how they're gonna ask. That thick, bro. <laughs> He's juicy. They need to make it that thick, though. Bro, bro yeah. is juicy. They, they just yeah. wanted, they just wanted a lot. And the helmets too. It's like just a huge. Like the helmets, like a bike helmet. You oh, know, yeah, like the, the helmet was like, especially in the first trailer. Like you know, like the shot where he's like looking up. Oh that yeah, was yeah. So distracting. It's like thick uh, on the sides, kind of. So it's like a bowling yeah. ball on his head. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Texturing, and it's like so different from the rest of the suit too. Like it's a nice, like it's a smooth, like shiny, big old helmet, and then like a big bumpy suit, like skin. Like you know, well, like I a think skin. The whole, suit, the whole the whole thing looks like looks like he's like a it's like a skin suit. Or like, yeah, it's like yeah. I don't really know how to describe it. it. Looks like he just put on some like latex, like something like yeah, that. Yeah. Like see his like like his like butt. You can like see his, like everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, yeah. Like, it's like it's like I don't really know how to describe it. I guess. Yeah, latex is a good like example of that. Yeah. Uh, speaking oh, of man. suits, the Batfleck suit. I okay. Before I continue. I think blue and gray is the best color for Batman. Definitely. But that suit is, is awful. That suit is awful. That suit is the most atrocious Batman Which suit one? ever exists. The Batfleck blue and gray. I, I that like one the specifically, color. I don't like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the, the padding and the, the honeycomb. One. Yeah. The honeycomb design for the straps and stuff is what I don't like. Everything yeah. else is fine to me. And I actually do really like the cowl and the... um. I like yeah. the belt too. It's belt? just the, oh yeah, yeah, the, the yellow belt, the yeah. padding. Very, padding, it's very platey. Yeah. No, platey, platey is the word yeah. for it. The armor is very platey, and you tell they tried to be like um, Martin Pattinson's bat suit with like all of, like the armory kind of bits, which I don't know. It's weird. It could have been done right if they like. I don't know how to really describe it. It just looks really loose. It looks loose. I think and unfinished. the best way to do it is have the. Zack Snyder Justice League bad suit and just just replace the black not no just replace the black part yeah I I, I like the BVS suit more the BVS suit is better because of the lighter gray in my opinion I think the original suit looked great I think if they just recolored it with the blue gray and yellow and then made the like the yellow and black smaller I mean specifically like the it would be like the outline belt. Version. No, the belt. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the outline belt. too. Yeah, the, the outline. Belt the, the, in the, uh, what the belt. What do you mean? Like, what, what do you, what do you mean? His and stuff. His utility belt. He has like yeah, yeah. yellow yellow uh, belt. Well, I was, which is I, what we I have was right now. I trying to say like like the yellow outline like around the bat. Like, like yeah, that's what I'm talking about too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think this is the best that they could have done like uh for the suit right. at least. And I think it's cool. I like he has like different suits in like his bat cave now. Um, yeah, just like these alternate mm-hmm. versions, even if they're not going to be used, I think it's cool to show like he's had like a lot of lore since then. Yeah, there's been story. There's been mm-hmm. there's been like, stuff's happened. Um, also, that brings up another question about uh the story itself. Uh, because of course we know there's going to be an alternate Flash with like the blue lightning or whatever. Mm-hmm. So is that supposed to be the Flash from Batman's universe or like Michael Keaton's well, Batman universe? Yeah, yeah. No, because, and also, and also. What do you mean, no? Wait. 
the other version of Ezra, like the young, yeah, young, yeah, young yeah, Ezra. Yeah, yeah. The blue one. No, that's from back in his timeline. That wouldn't make any that, sense. That's, 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 that's key to know. He goes back in time and finds yeah. a younger version of himself. That's the well, same flash. That wouldn't really make sense. Wait, wait, wait. Do you guys think that Keaton in this movie is the same Keaton in the well, the yeah. 19... Yeah, obviously. Probably, yeah. So, so the that's the case. Then, then, the, the, then the blue lightning Ezra is the Flash from... Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Line. I think it's, it's like... Of course, if they're going to do a multiverse thing, I don't think like the Flash or like whatever they call him, Young Barry, is going to be... And also, you have to remember that uh, Young Barry's suit is like the Michael Keaton Batman suit, just like spray painted or whatever. Yeah, and like so the ears cropped like or whatever. Yeah. Like, like an indicator that that's from that universe. Also, another yeah. question. He said, uh, "My mom's in this universe." So it seems like, of course, the original Flashpoint was more of like a time travel thing, but it seems like this is like <laughs> more like multiversal, of course, like to fit in like yeah. with multiverse and stuff. Which yeah, I like that. But my question is, how did his mom end up in like Batman's universe? Or the Michael Keaton Batman movie. What do you mean? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I think it makes sense because, like, his mom was always destined to be born in the Keaton timeline. If that makes sense. How? Oh. Like, I guess same thing with Marvel variants and stuff. I mean, they just look yeah. the same. That or, or another theory is that uh, if they go back in time, uh, like, it messes with the timeline to where, like, Keaton is the new Batman. And then yeah, true. they'll go back and change it. And that's why Barry's mom is in is like in this timeline. Yeah, and that's true as well. Wait, there's another Barry. Wait, so in the Flashpoint movie, right, and even in the comics, yeah. Bond explains that even though he time travels to a specific point, the time boom caused like a disturbance in, in all of time, yeah, yeah, yeah. which changed yeah, through, which through changed like, the events of the past. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Like, because here's the thing: Man of Steel yeah, happened like, before it's like a way Flash of became way, uh, events. Like, even if it doesn't like actually yeah. affect it, like just traveling back in time could change everything. It can affect the so entire think, timeline. I yeah. think. I think time it report, can right? either be. I think it's more likely that it's a multiverse thing, but I just that's just like my theory that, uh, yeah. like, so that it would make sense that his mom is like alive now, because of course he went back in time and his mom's alive, but that would change stuff in the present. So. I think that's why Michael Keaton is like in this but, timeline, but that's just my theory. I remember, I'm pretty sure that Man of Steel, um, like that was before all of, like the Flash stuff happened, right? Yeah, but before uh, you guys found yeah, so I think well, the time ripple or whatever affected yeah, the past yeah, and future. Exactly, time ripple making like, a new timeline. Also, yeah. that's why like it's Supergirl now instead of Superman. Mm -hmm. I feel like that. I feel like that's probably our best bet of like what's gonna happen. I feel like some yeah. parts we might be wrong on, but I think that's that's like the most cohesive way of explaining all of this. It makes sense. Yeah. To the casual viewer, I guess. What, what do you guys think of Zod being? Uh, I think I think that they did a really good job of like recreating like of course Man of Steel and or like was it Deep Man of Steel. Uh, no, that was him. No, but wow, he looks good. Yeah, they brought back the OG guy, mm -hmm. and he looks around the same age too, so that's mm -hmm. good. Uh, I, I'm yeah. interested to see like an alternate take on like stuff we've already seen. Of course, like it's kind of like a, not I wouldn't say a copy, but it's very similar to how like an Endgame they went back in time to like the Avengers movie. Oh yeah. So it's like that, but like with the DCEU with like Man of Steel, like the battle for Metropolis and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm excited for too. Yeah, I thought so I'd point I think out that. that. Kind of like a parallel. I also want to point out that the DCEU is ending the same place it, it started in Man of Steel. Oh, yeah. Ah. I like that. I like that idea. Yeah. That's, that's a good. Yeah. yeah that's, that's. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. And you think they're going to they're gonna make like more Keaton content like in that own, in no. his own universe? No. Universe? No, 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 no. Never. Because I heard people like, talking about that. Well, no, no. Well, that was like more of like a pre. James Gunn thing, like, oh, okay, like, yeah. uh, of course, like, with Batgirl, uh, and stuff, like, the new universe was gonna be, like, ba uh, Michael Keaton, Batman, Batgirl, stuff like that, there was gonna be a Robin, but, of course, that's not happening mm -hmm. anymore, so, I'm it glad, seems like it's gonna be a different scenario than that, uh, yeah. But yeah, I also saw a tweet, um, someone said, this isn't relevant at all, but, like, someone was t saying, like, oh, if we get more Keaton content, we could have, like, a live-action Batman Beyond in his own universe, um, well, I mean, you you just said that we're not getting any more Keaton content. At uh, least, I, well, I don't think we're gonna. I mean, get not like him as Batman. Do I think that a Batman Beyond like movie would be cool? I think yes, it would. But uh, as I mean, K 
Keaton, Keaton's um, up in the air for whether he should do Batman yeah. Beyond or not. That should be an individual project. I think it would be cool idea, Elseworlds. like, three years ago. Elseworlds. Yeah, Elseworlds. Like, definitely. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Elseworlds, yeah. Or even, even so, I, I mean, I, Batman Beyond would just be cool in general, and that's something I would want to see. Yeah. Just All something right. I saw, like, a few days ago. Rate, tra- trailer, rate it out of 10. Solid? Um, 8? 8.3. 8.3? Dude, yeah. no way, no way. I literally had like was think just like now thinking about eight point three. <laughs> solid, <laughs> solid nine, solid uh, nine. I I'll say eight point three because I'm still a little iffy on some of it. Oh, because... It would be an eight point five. Uh, but you know, some of the stuff I'm iffy about, like the, uh, of course, the Ben Affleck suit and stuff. Uh, yeah. But overall, it looks it's way, it's way, 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 way better than I it thought it would be. Blew my expectations yeah. out of the water. Yeah. yeah. I, I yeah, have very same. low expectations yeah. as well. Same. Ant Man three, Quantumania, guys. Uh, there is a new Super Bowl like d- promo, and of course, like the movie's coming out on Friday. So let let's just like recap our thoughts on like what what we've seen from the trailers so far. Um, I like it. Kind of the CGI, the effects. It reminds me of Raimi, kind of. One thing, one thing I'll say is, uh, I like the scenery and stuff. I, I, I was yeah. saying this a, a little bit before we started recording, but uh, I like the scenery yeah. of uh, you know, like the the quantum realm and stuff. But oh, I yeah. don't think mm-hmm. the the CGI is very iffy. Like in some parts, it's it's a little like you know, like Wonky. very obvious. Mm. Course, obviously green think, screen i really don't yeah. think they had a lot of time to like uh you know render the cgi because a, a lot of the times like uh they'll end up you know releasing the movie before the cgi is like completely done rendering or like yeah. the best quality it can be and i think that's kind of what happened they're just kind of like of, of course, another rush marvel, project yeah marvel's making so many projects now like that they they need like uh to like reuse like the same uh, VFX teams on like all these movies and shows now, so yeah. I think it's it's they're kind of being spread thin a little like CGI wise, but uh, uh yeah, you see what yeah, I, yeah, one, you one thing, I mean, right? Yeah, one thing I noticed about the trailer, you know where Kang and Scar are talking, like mm-hmm. they say, oh let Cassie go, I think they weren't in the same room. I think they were. In, I think they were in different rooms. Yeah, that's one thing with Marvel. They'll always trick yeah. you. And, I, and I'm pretty sure, wasn't there, wasn't there a lawsuit about that? Uh, like, like this guy, yeah, there was this guy. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I, I, didn't yeah. mean, I, mean, I didn't mean it like that. I meant it like, they're in the same scene, but different rooms. What do you mean? So, uh, um, it's Kang like, talking to, to Scott. Like, yeah, he's talking okay. to Scott. Yeah, I, I think I think the, that dialogue that that's shown in the trailer is happening. But the way they yeah. filmed it, it it's they like, didn't film it with both of them on the set. No, no, it's Scott and Kank. They weren't on set the same day to film it. They just uh, composited. Mm-hmm. They just composited the two recordings yeah, to make it seem horrible, like. Uh, is that like they just like. Like, they just get, like, very, like, popular, like, celebrities and actors and stuff, so they're always, like, doing stuff. And, like, even in Endgame, yeah. like, half of the people, uh, like, even, up, like, they all showed up on, like, different days, and then they just had to, like, film them in front of, like, and, and, yeah, like, yeah, that, that's what, that's what I meant, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and same thing with, like, Avengers Endgame. Tom Holland wasn't even on set, uh, like, during, the, like, the woman, like, the scene with, like, all the woman Avengers, he wasn't even there. Like, they just got, like, a guy, or, like, a guy to replace him, and then he filmed all that stuff later. So All run is like, beautiful. Yeah, it seems like Ant Man is <laughs> gonna be some somewhere to the. Uh, I I prefer like even like I just prefer if they just got the actors in the same room. Yeah. Like, to be honest, made it makes me made it seem like they're having a convo. Yeah, it, it makes kind of like a yeah. disconnect. You know, I'm yeah. rewatching it right now, dude. Kang's suit looks so fake in that scene, the interrogation scene. I guess interrogation. I guess. Oh, yeah. I is it like the lighting? It's the lighting. You can tell it's like CG. The shadows. Right? The shadows, yeah. yeah Very yeah, unrealistic. It looks that. really bad. Also, that. But it's I'll obviously say, just for like two seconds. But. I'm not I'm not known for being like a hater, but like one thing I'll say about uh-huh. King's mask is is Oof. it looks whack. Like, it does. It looks, it looks like very like, I don't know how to like describe it. It just looks like, like they cringy. photoshopped the face. Like, like yeah, you know how like, you can like, like yeah, color over people. But like, 
there's just something about it that, like that just kind of like throws me off. Like I don't know if like like I'll pull it, it looks up on like a screen Snapchat, now. Snapchat filter. Yeah, it's like. Mm. Hmm. I think it's cool that they have like a blue, it's like just like a blue filter over his face and it's not like a mask like it is in the comics that wouldn't really work. I think I like it better True. like that and of course like the scars and stuff is pretty. It's cool. a smarter. It's, it's smarter. About, like, the yeah. way, like the mask like fit like fits around his head. It, it kind of yeah, like, it is the eyes on Kang because yeah. they're very they're like they're like normal and the it's rest just, is like it's just like white effect. Yeah, it's very yeah. I can get the eyes throw me off on Kang. All right, for me. Rock. But from the trailer, he's very bald. <laughs> he has a lot of jump scare. Jump scare in three, two, two, one. Modoc jump scare. Boom, boom, boom. Stop. Look at his face. <laughs> Just like Swamp Thing. Like, swamp oh my god. He Call looks it. like a That's testicle cool. with arms. <laughs> oh he god. does. It's, it's, it's a little unsettling. Uh, it's I very think weird. It's a, it's very one thing I don't like is that uh, I I have the Superman Modok's like uh, story right because of course in the yeah. comics like Modok is like his own guy uh, like he owns like the AIM Corporation or whatever and I yeah think, he I, I'm guessing they're gonna have like some type of like you guys know what AIM is right like, yes like, what, like, advanced company. idea mechanics yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so That's stupid I I I think they might do something like that but uh. I don't know. Hopefully. I think it's interesting that they made him like Yellow Jacket, like Darren Cross. Yeah, like, and you know, yeah. in Ant Man, you could see him like um, uh, his going body contortionating and stuff in a different yeah, sizes. That's, yeah. that's probably why he ended up like cool. that. I just would have preferred if it, if they just did like the OG Modok like stuff because yeah, the way the, because of his course he has, like that opening for like where his hair is supposed to be, but it's just not. Mm -hmm. Like he's just bald yeah, in not. that area, and then he has like a headband. Uh, I think it's probably, I, I like the design better when it, he has, like, that mask thing on. like that Yeah, which is surprising to say, like. Yeah. I know, Jack. Everyone, no, hey, there's a big controversy with, like, the, so everyone's saying, like, oh, you guys are getting so mad about the face, even though he doesn't look like MODOK. Like, yeah. his face. Yeah, he does. Because, uh, you know, yeah. MODOK has a tiny nose and, like, a big old mouth, like, he's more... Yeah. They just put a face. He just—they just made a floating head in a chair. Like that's just—they they, did—it was—it feels lazy, you know. Yeah. Uh, in a way. Right. Talking about some of the promos, what did you? Or I know Boba, you probably seen a few. What are some of like the standouts? I, uh, oh, 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 uh, the the hairy guy. Harry. What, 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 yeah, remember like the hairy guy from the. Uh, Kevin Feige Sesquil. Yeah, yeah, Kevin Feige's <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Oh, oh, yeah, it's oh. Put it on screen right now. Yeah, oh my there's god. Some, there's, oh. Some, there's some like uh, funky I mean, creatures. Yeah, broccoli guy. I mean, it's cool that like, there's like different like Wait, you know, types of creatures it, in the it, quantum it, realm. Isn't that Guardians? Isn't that Guardians? No, no, no that's um. No, 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 that was uh, Ant Man. Yeah. Oh. You know, looking at the trailer, there's, there's, there's like, different creatures of the quantum realm. Are like different types of like species. Oh my gosh. Like, quantum like variant species or something yeah. like that. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure what they are. I guess they'll explain in the movie because they're not aliens, of course, but they're like some type of like, like humanoids or something. Uh, yeah. But I guess they're gonna explain like the origins of like the quantum city and how like people actually live there and stuff. Because of course we know Janet knows stuff that we don't. Because uh, she's been when there when for she got out, yeah. When she got out from Ant Man and the Wasp, uh, she didn't. She didn't explain too much, but we saw that city. And of course, in the new trailer, we hear, we hear her talking about. Uh, there's something I didn't tell you, or, or and whatnot. So it seems like Janet's got some secrets that are gonna get like unveiled, and also people are oh, saying wait. that Janet is like the best, or Janet and Kang are the best characters in the movie. So I think it's gonna be mostly about like Janet and her connection to like the you know quantum uh, city. Yeah, so wait, how long was she in there in years? Because uh, uh, years correlate years correlate years. hours, right? Twenty something years. So that'd be like that'd be like one day in the quantum realm, right? Well, for, uh, I think it was longer than that. I think it was like really because because she aged up a lot. Because she so it she was, was only like a few woman. days in the quantum realm. I don't know how she knows no. so much about it. Right? 30, 30, 30 years because remember, uh, Agent Carter was there at the beginning. That's like oh, that's like roughly like that. only a day in the quantum realm, right? Because well, we know the days I, 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 because the years. Well, no, because he was stuck in a time vortex. That's why it was only like uh, that. Ah, uh, okay. So Wait, I'm a question. Yeah, yeah. But wouldn't when she went into the quantum realm, she was like a young adult. When she came out, she was like 
70 years old. Yeah, she was so in there for a so long to explain, time. To explain really yeah. quick, since you guys are a little confused about that. Uh, mm-hmm. So the the reason why uh, for Ant-Man it was only five minutes is because at the end of Ant-Man the Wasp, uh, he's talking about studying time vortexes. And then at the end of the movie, he gets uh, sucked into a time vortex in the quantum realm. And that's why okay. he went that, like that far. And then, in, of course, in Endgame, they traveled through the quantum realm time vortexes. But that's just like a, a like small part of the quantum realm. Uh, but there's like a whole like wider like you know, you seen like the first yeah I, I, I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> okay, um, what you. is that? I, I uh, need to hear that. You can age in the quantum, uh, realm, but not if you're in a time vortex. Okay. Do you guys think that Scott will die? Yes. Uh, that's very probably. Very or be pushing. I don't want sacrifice to himself or be retired. I don't think Marvel. I don't think Marvel has the balls to kill him. Yeah. But I feel like it's very possible, to be honest. Yeah. I, th- I think there's a 50% chance okay. of him dying. I think he's either going to die or retire and give really. Cassie the role. The ant person. Yeah. Stasher? Well, what? well, of course, yeah, she, she's like, what's her what's her superhero name? I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. But I, eventually she becomes no idea. Stasher. Like, her, she's, she's not like a wasp or like a bug or anything. She's just like... So, of course, like, she has, like, this, like, bug identity in Quantumania or, like, some type of, like, I, I think it's, like, this purple superhero suit. I'll pull up the name for, like, I think I think her name's Sting in this. I might be wrong. But I think at the end of the movie, instead of, like, passing the torch so she becomes, like, the next, like, Ant Woman or whatever, I think she'll, she'll become, like, her kind of, like, her own hero. And I don't think yeah. Scott's probably going to die because they need to set up, like, Young Avengers and stuff. So I think she'll become Stature. And that will kind of, like, be her transition to becoming, like, her own person. Uh, I'm still okay. not a fan of that recast, though. Yeah, I was going to ask yeah. you that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like that either. It's unfair to the original actress. I think yeah, it's, a, it's it's an okay even recast. If you think I she's think, a better, yeah. Even if you think she's a better actress or whatever, it's still it's still not really fair that they just completely, like, you know, disregarded her. It was disrespectful to the original actress, but I do like... Yeah. I, I don't I think the recast is fine. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, the original it's very unsettling though. that, of course, they just dyed her hair brown, because her hair in real life is blonde, right? So, so yeah. I, I, I'm not sure if it's a wig or if they dyed it brown. But, well, but she's blonde in the tell, comics, so it's fake. fake. Yeah, yeah, you can tell it's fake, though. Why would they make yeah. her brown hair? Like, well, well, because her hair was brown the old in the original Ant-Man movies. Yeah. Oh, true. And Ant-Man 1 and Ant-Man 2, and of course, Endgame. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're going to oh, yeah, yeah. probably keep her brunette. Uh, or maybe they, yeah. they cast a blonde actress so that she could just be blonde naturally later. But right now in Quantumania, seeing her, like, as a, like, you can tell it's, like, she's, like, a fake brunette. And it's yeah. Kind of, yeah. Like, just weird. You can see her blonde shining through. I'm looking at some images <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. It, she, it seems like she has, like, highlights or something. They, yeah. they really should have just kept, like, the OG act- actress, but that's just my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> She, yeah, she, she was a better actor, in my opinion, <laughs> the, I mean, the moment they, re, they, re, know, they reunite. They, they just want big names. They just want celebrities. Like, same reason they yeah. got Chris Pratt to play Mario. <laughs> Solely for the reason people are going to watch Mario. it, because it's Chris Pratt, yeah. yeah. And kind of what I was talking about with Keaton, but not, you know. Yeah, it's just not fair. But it was not fair that... Even, also, they didn't, they didn't even tell the original actress she was going to be cast as well. Okay, so let's talk about the ratings for the movie and, like, the reception that it's receiving so far. Oh. Of course, the red carpet was a while ago. What was it, like, a week ago? Or, like, it, maybe Roughly. even a few days ago. Uh, of course, they've been yeah. doing red carpets later, like, so that they don't get spoilers too early. But uh, yeah. it seems like the reception hasn't been great. Uh, no. Let, let's, let's read some of the quotes from people that did see it from the red carpet. Uh, this is one of the first ones I see. This is from the direct article. Uh, the problem with Quantum Mania is that it's not a movie; it's a building block, and there are three movies jostling for screen time within Quantum Mania. And then Scott and Cassie's father-daughter origin story, Janet Van Dyne's repressed guilt over Kang's origins, the Quantum Realm's Ooh. long fight to overthrow the tyrannical Kang, but they're all overshadowed by the MCU of it all. The result uh-huh. is an undercooked, overstuffed action movie that feels like a shadow of better pulpy adventure send-ups before it. So. Yeah, it seems like this is kind of like what I was expecting to happen. That's exactly what I was worried about. The exact yeah. like problem I was. So phase five, it, it is phase four. 
at this building. It this just... is just a transition into the new phase, like Flash. Yeah, this like, is the um, first, well, this Flash is the beginning of phase five, DCU. of course. Of course, Flash is doing it a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it ended with uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, so this would, that would mark yeah, so this uh, is the Ant beginning Man. of it. Yeah, as just kind of set up the whole thing. First movie of phase five. Um, building block, as they say. Yeah, 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 I guess so. And, uh... I mean, it seems like, yeah, I don't think they, when they say undercooked, I think that might be, like, a, more of, like, a not just a story thing, but a CGI thing. Effects, yeah. Because, yeah, I don't now, think, like, they had a lot of time. If I'm and being also, honest. I think they rushed it, and, like, they just, like, made it to, like, fit, and like, with the MCU, instead of, like, focusing more on the story, like, is what I'm getting from this quote. Exactly. Um, yeah. I think the whole reason, at this point... I'm only watching the film for the cinematography and effects. I'm just you know? watching it just just for like out of obligation. Uh, True. Like it's an important movie, I guess, for the whole MCU. I mean, so. Yeah, I'm just because of course it's probably gonna end up being important for like the other movies, but critically yeah. or like story wise, it doesn't seem promising. Yeah. Of course, well, like this is just like a pre movie opinion. We haven't like actually seen it yet, so I, yeah. I really again I hope that I'm wrong about it, but I don't Same. think I will be. Uh, uh, it yeah. looks like it looks like the same thing that's happened. So we all remember Love and Thunder, right? Yeah, it was yeah. kind of just everyone like, thought it was gonna like be like a really serious, rushed, like, like important like, film. Not a lot but of it was work just put a, into it. Yeah, no, it was over. over Either that or it was more stu like Taika stuff. Like even yeah, Hemsworth it's said that, comedy like, and comedy and yeah, just too much of that. The story for comedy and that's which is terrible. I noticed within the trailer is, uh, of course, we have Kang and Ant Man's like big confrontation or whatever and he's like have yeah. i killed you before and then that's supposed and like of course the comic-con trailers that was supposed to be like the big like scary thing that shocks everyone. yeah but now it's and like then, oh then, it's comedic ha -ha. That, yeah they made it a, a comedy scene which was really out of left field for me uh because he he makes a thor reference when when ant-man's talking about if he killed him. him and and i'm just like is this a, like what 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 are they trying to convey to us? Because at, 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 like... at one point they want us to think, okay, this is supposed to be like a menacing scene, like to introduce Kang. Have I killed you before? That's like a scary thing. And then on the flip side, we have Ant Man making jokes about dying or like whatnot, like looking like Thor, saying they have yeah, uh, similar physiques. So it seems like <laughs> this movie's like writing wise, it's all over the place, like very inconsistent. Yeah. Just based off of that scene, uh, of course, I hope I'm wrong, but yeah, because we haven't seen the movie yet. Um, yeah, yeah. That's that's another it. thing with crit pre criticisms is like I really not like, always what, right. what, like some of these I'm gonna end up being wrong, obviously. But yeah. Just blame the blame the marketing guys, honestly. If if to I be honest, honest, yeah. <laughs> Whoever's making these because they're marketing this as one of those like just another cop yeah, funny like big movie what movie. Stupid shit like that. Like it's not. I really hope like that's 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 like the all of it. Hopefully. Yeah. Um. Where do you think yeah. of the suits? The suits, like this is probably the worst <laughs> I'm, case scenario I'm of mixed, overdesigned. Mixed. Uh, for me. Um, if they had any other opportunity, like with making the suit, they should have taken those because this suit, uh, like you know what, not just the Ant Man suit, all of them. They're yeah. so over designed. I've never they seen look exactly the same. I've they look never the seen same. More lines on suits. Even Kang's suit is somehow over designed. Like yeah, uh, they uh, all the, look the, exactly. the, the wasp suit looks like like dicking balls. The wasp suit does not like. <laughs> honestly, I don't like any of the suits at all. Kang is like the yeah. only like decent one, and even that oh, one's in lines. Uh, but yeah, the rest of them are just like. This is like almost like Thor Love and Thunder levels of bad, like like yeah. suit wise. No, those suits were yeah. awful. As they well. are literally all the exact same suit, just recolored. Like look, yeah. they, like I'm looking at the suits right now. They look all almost exactly the same, just different colors. Yeah, they really yeah. like. I don't even know what they're doing. So, like if it's, it's so like lazy. costume designers like sabotaging them or some or like some type of creative <laughs> there's, decision. There's, okay, they so just need the, to this fix like. It. This is one powder in every MCU movie suit. I yeah. don't know how to describe it, but I'll... Uh, 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 Jack, we talked we talked about it with Mark on yeah, the yeah, model. Yeah. I'll, I'll, show it on, I'll show it on the screen, but yeah, those yeah, lines. Like, it's in every yeah. movie, and they just have not gotten like rid of it. And it, it, it yeah. wouldn't even be bad at first if they didn't overuse it so much. And yeah. just like yeah. add like lines everywhere. 
to the point where it's yeah. like almost distracting like even like uh it, it kind of started off oh, like spider-man like with the homecoming suit that's yeah. that was kind of like the stepping stones because they got spider-man and then although uh, even even on the blue parts of his suit there's just like unnecessary like lines and then after that leave off me this man. i love that suit well I, yeah but but like <laughs> still it, it was the stepping points for them to make the suit full of yeah. lines and yeah, and now it seems like they're influencing other media too. Of course, the Flash is a suit full of lines. Apparently, yep. lines make everything yeah. better now. Uh, Apparently, I disagree with that. Uh, well, like, I think if they just took what? All right, yeah, go ahead. Wait, so I think with the, I think the base designs, like if you look at the little U at the bottom of the Ant Man suit, um, I think it's just like the silver little lines and like the. Mm -hmm. the just tiny like tiny lines stuff. yeah it's just so useless and oh indistracting from the uh, original suit i think if they just kept the base patterns and stuff it would look fine but they they don't they just put all these little lines and little things and little it's awful I think the, yeah i think that the civil war suit was the best ant-man suit because it was a like yeah what do you guys think people are calling are the critics the people that saw them well not even critics just people that saw on the red carpet they're calling it yeah. unremarkable generic uh mcu Wait, is, is it a podcast they're, I, is it? they're probably right i hope they're wrong i really want this to be a good movie but i just don't see uh, it. i mean i i think it's a good premise uh, what you said it's, it's kind of <laughs> out of left field for something like an ant-man movie true but i guess this was yeah. in the plan all along so yeah I mean, what can you do they plan like way far ahead i mean it's not like they can change it now but i mean we'll see I think yeah. for Ant Man, what would you guys just like rate? Not like the trailers, because there's like tons of trailers. And so trailers, many, and they reveal like, so much. How, how, what 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 do you think? Like, I'm expecting it to be a solid seven. For how the movie to be will be. Hopens. Um, I out of ten, maybe six. I'm gonna say yeah, probably. I think I'll be generous. I'll give it six. Again, I'm not yeah, a hater or anything, five or something like that. but I'll give it... Just from what we've seen so far and for, what, how the past few moves have been with the MCU, it doesn't yeah, look like it's Okay, movie. this is just our like ratings uh, based on expectations. We'll give it a yeah. on expectations. And, let's, and we'll obviously do like review videos and stuff after the... Yeah, after yeah. I mean, there's going to be a lot to cover, of course. Which I guess will be next week, right? So, soon. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have a lot to cover, of course. All right, I think we should just move on to Guardians 3. Uh... Good. New trailer came out with the Super Bowl. Of course, we already got the official trailer a few months ago, but uh, it seems like this one's like uh, more of like a you know lighter tone. Of course, the first trailer was. It seems like there's gonna be some like character deaths. Uh, it was like more of like a darker, more emotional trailer. Besides like the yeah. tail end of it, like with the jokes and stuff. But I guess like they're required to do that. I mean, this, this yeah. one had that too with like of course the Nebula and Star Lord stuff. Yeah, I should kind of. Yeah, <laughs> funny well, get help. That was actually, actually supposed like, to be funny. Well, get like, help. Funny stuff. Well, it's James Gunn, so I mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean James Gunn. What can I say? I mean, he's he's just like so so like genius, creative, a genius. Different. Yeah. Like like yeah. Like, di like he's just not like the other. He's not like other girls. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, he's he managed to make us like care about these like pretty much obscure. Uh, a talking like, rabbit. A talking tree. I'll get rabbit. 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 Yeah. I'll kill you. Yeah. This 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 is looking to be like one of the most like um, emotional. Of course, Rocket's origin story, high evolutionary. Uh, yeah. Mantis and Star Lord are related now after the holiday special. Oh yeah. Their brother and sister. How? 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 They're half siblings from Ego. Yeah. Um, uh, well, did who? you see the holiday special? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I'd say, yeah, that's I'd really the only important part I'd of it. So walking into the holiday special, definitely you definitely want to. Or walking into Guardians Three, you definitely want to watch that. Yeah, I'd, I'd watch that. It explains a, a few things. It's kind of like the, so. it's kind of like the the pre sequel. To, uh, yeah. You know, Guardians I, Three. Like, or like Guardians Two. Yeah, Guardians Two Point Five. But yeah, it's pretty. Good, important. good <laughs> luck uh, trying to convince me. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> From the trailer, I think it's, like, I think, who do you guys think is going to die, like, most likely? Like, not even based um, off, like, leaks or, like, spoilers? Honestly, like, I think okay, most okay. Die. Okay, think okay, most so die. me, 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 Boba spotted something in the corner of a... No, 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 no,
but time a theory after the movie comes out, we'll talk about that. Like the- yeah, yeah. Very we'll cool. go into right. like like big like leaks and spoilers yeah. and are like Easter eggs and stuff later on. But uh, yeah. right now, just like theories. Yeah. Like, so I think is most likely to die. Rocket. Rocket. It's in between these three characters. Okay. Rocket obviously seems like he the most likely yeah, to die, Rocket. but they might pull a little bit because of a twist. Of course, that quote that he said. Uh, I forget exactly what it was. Like we'll join hands or whatever. And it seems like he, he's, like, dying. Of course, we see Star-Lord screaming at, like, some mm-hmm. type of, like, hospital bed. So I think that could be Rocket. Uh, I think it's kind of like, be like, like, he needs to kind of redeem himself after, like, you know, mm-hmm. being the, the jerk of these movies. He's going to become, like, the, you know, illuminated or whatever. You know, James but, Gunn said that he was the like secret main character, of, you know? I feel like out, out of between Drax and Rocket, Rocket's more likely to die than Drax. Rocket is more likely, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, either him. He's like the one with the big quotes in the trailer. Maybe they're doing that to throw us off, but I. Think, yeah, I think that's what was happening. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's 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 definitely at least Drax or Rocket. Like at least one. Yeah. Will, will remember, and that's gonna be so sad. at the end of the trailer, you can see them. Um, where was it? Oh wait, uh, I can't find it. I feel like they're. I'll show. I'll I have show a question for you guys. Screen, but but I have it a question. Seems like they're carrying someone. So, so, since, so, so, since, I think Infinity, the since Infinity War killed off Gamora and Endgame brought back a new Gamora, do you think that interfered with James Gunn's uh, vision for the Guardians or no? Uh, they probably pre-played yeah. it, to be honest. Yeah. He probably talked with Feige or whatnot about it. Uh, I mean... I think it is kind of interesting, like, there's gonna be, like, a new Gamora, but I, it's, I mean, of course, Infinity War, she kind of had Watch to die. <laughs> Watch die. Again. They didn't really have a choice, like, to not kill her in Infinity War, so it made sense that yeah. she died, but, uh, yeah. I, I think that, that will actually be more of an entertaining dynamic than if she had just, I'm like, excited stayed alive. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I, I like, agree, like I agree. It's, reset for Peter. He has to, like, completely retread, like, everything, like, that he's gone through with her. And, and, of course, it, it's going to be more emotional because he just, like, wants to, like, you know, like, be around her and stuff because they were together. But it's just not the same. It's not the same. I don't girl. think they'll be – I don't think they'll end up together by the end of the movie. I no, think, I don't yeah, think so no. either. I'm just saying, it's like, it, it's going it it to be a retread of his past. It's going to hurt to watch, too. It's going to make him hurt, and it's going to make him sad. It's going to make me cry, man. I think that's <laughs> – yeah. I think that – I'm not saying they'll get back together. I'm just saying it's going to be no. a retread. Of their relationship. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I yeah. can't see them came back together. All right, Peter and Nebula. Oh my God. Thoughts, predictions. Oh, <laughs> um, Boba. Boba is a big fan of that. I made a joke that I shipped them. I shipped Nebula and me. Whoa, <laughs> no, okay. Get help! Get help! Get help! Get help! Get help! Get help. Traumatized get help. um robot ladies. I love them. Get help! Oh, Guardians ex machina. Um, you know, in towards the end of the trailer, I noticed what. I ship them. <laughs> towards the end of the trailer, I noticed that Quill was inside of like, an exploding ship of some sort. Yeah. Um, trying to like run through there what with like holding something. I think he might die. I think he's like the raw character. Actually, that's not even something I even thought about. But what, what if yeah. he actually? Does? But you can also see them all. I think it's some some point towards the end of the trailer, he you can see them all, everyone except for Quill, um, yeah. watching something go down. So he's either gonna like what, maybe sacrifice himself or something might happen like that. Yeah, I, I think he'll sacrifice to, to save, save Gamora, Drax. maybe something no, like that. To, no, 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 to save Drax or Rocket. Yeah. Probably, probably Rocket. Because well, Rocket probably... seems like the one that's in danger here. Rocket seems yeah. like he's in big danger. If he looks like he's been captured. It's like Rocket that's why he, movie, basically. He's like the yeah, main character. He, he's, James Gunn even said he's like the secret main character, you know, like the entire yeah. movie is. Well, of course, like they have the cast, but like it's, it's, yeah. like, it's more of like a se- he's Rocket centric. Than, yeah, like, it's centered around his story. Of course, we had some of like Rocket's like story in like the last movie, uh, Guardians mm-hmm. 2. Like with uh, remember that scene? Yondu Talking to Yondu. Yep. About his like how his life is basically the same as when he was like a boy, and how he thinks he's so tough and everything, but he actually just needs to like succumb to like his real thoughts and like just like ground himself. And that's kind of 
I think and he's really gonna take Yondu's advice and like the yeah. new movie and like really become like the best version of himself that he can be before he Chored. dies, probably. Yeah, matured and stuff. Yeah. yeah and, oh, I'm gonna cry so hard in this movie, dude. I'm not ready. <laughs> Out of, out of 10, Guardians 3. Out of 10. Oh, 9. 9. 9, nine yeah. I'd say 9, and one thing I will say, j- just like to tail on this, this will save the MCU. It, yes. Yes, agreed. Yeah, all right. Probably. If it even if it doesn't, I can die happy knowing that Guardians 3 came out. Yeah. <laughs> even, I could just watch Guardians 3. I, I'll never have to pick up a Marvel movie again. 